So this is the Redmi Note 3 and today I'm going to show you the first build of Resurrection Remix based on Android Pie for the Redmi Note 3 and this is the 23rd January 2019 build so let's just begin. This is the stock launcher over here. I'm not quite happy with the stock launcher over here to be frank and I have to say this launcher is sometimes I feel it's a bit laggy and if I just like do this let me just show you as you can see if I just move around this icon over here. If you are noticing this, this is quite laggy and I'm not happy with it at all. And we have the Google Now cards and stuff. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel. But let me show you the settings. Here is the settings. It does not simply have the double tap to sleep and stuff in the home screen. So that's how it is. But it does have the like tap to hold functionality. And you can swipe all the way up to get the app drawer and stuff as you can see. So that's how it is. Let me just show you the settings panel inside system and inside advanced. Let me go into the updater. Here it shows the Resurrection Remix logo version 7.0. You can check for updates from here whenever the new updates are available. Let me show you the about section quickly inside Android version. We have the Resurrection Remix logo on top over here and you can see the versions and stuff. Android version 9 of course based on Android Pie. Resurrection Remix built 23rd January 2019 and the security patch over here is of January 5th 2019 Vendor security patch again January 5th 2019 based on Eskrima kernel and build date is over here of course and the build number If you are into it, let me just go back before I go back Let me show you that I have enabled the developer option and if you want to like connect your phone to your PC You have to enable developer option then go over here into this default USB configuration and change the like this to file transfer. And over here we have the advanced reboot inside the developer option too. Let me just show you. As you can see if I just like tap and hold the power button and tap on restart right now it shows this like reboot to system, recovery, fast boot, etc stuff. So you can enable advanced reboot from the developer options. So the actual customizations panel are in these settings. And if you have noticed the like icons in the settings and it does look Resurrection Remix kind of, it's not the stock Android Pie kind of look because in stock Android Pie these settings panel icons are a lot colorful but over here the colors are quite good to the eyes I have to say and inside Resurrection Tools we have a lot of customizations. Even though this is the first build I feel this is one amazing of a build and over here you can customize everything like clock you can change the position of the clock to like center and stuff and change AMPM style date enabling option is there network activity status is there like if you want the internet speed to be showing up over here I'm using a different app for it so that's how it is but this option by default is there battery status style is there but no big dot circle over here keep that in mind but you can enable battery bar and stuff from here status bar weather is there but for some reason it's not showing up i don't know why and inside brand logo the restriction remix logo of course will pop up if you enable it notification ticker option is there system icons we have the vaulty icon and stuff if you have like seen the vaulty icon from here and regarding vaulty yes the second sim vaulty even works fine and even first slot vaulty works of course and this like rom does have the recording call option and stuff in the in call ui so you don't need to worry we have the status bar gestures now this is a pretty cool thing we have the brightness control this like old school stuff we can just swipe on the status bar just like this to control the brightness of the screen this is really really cool and we even have the double tap to sleep on the status bar so that's really decent inside status bar we have the headset bluetooth etc icon show 4g instead of lte etc icons inside quick settings we can control the animations of the quick settings panel we have the tile layout option and we have the quick pull down if you need it and inside advanced we have the vibrate on touch option on each toggle inside recent we have the slim recent option 
but the recent channel over here is of course the like stock android pie kind of and we even have the clear all button and stuff to the left side so this is how it looks inside lock screen we have the fingerprint unlock charging info face auto unlock option and face auto unlock does work i have tried it and you don't need to worry you just need to make sure that you are flashing this rom with micro g apps so that's how it is whenever you're flashing this rom just use the arm 64 9.0 micro g apps let's go to animations over here we have the screen of animation you can change it to color fade crt scale by default it's set to simple fade and looks pretty cool let me just show you as you can see it just like sleeps the fingerprint scanner is fairly fast as you, as you just saw let me just do that again so as you can see the fingerprint scanner is not like bad at all but the haptic feedback of the fingerprint scanner unlocking is a little bit harsh i don't know if if we can control it i'll show it to you later on and we even have whole ui animation changing options like list view animation scrolling cache toast and we even have this reselection remix configure tabs so that you can like customize these animations that's pretty cool we have the system like ui animation option and you can change each of them so a lot of animations this is why reselection remix is really really popular and this is why we have a lot of animation customizations over here so inside misc we have the weather service i think we have to enable it from here let me just do that let's change it to open like weather map unit celsius all right so right now the weather is showing up on the status bar so that is pretty cool over here as you can see so it does work the weather on the status bar does work and over here inside interface we have the heads up and stuff you can disable it if you want to dashboard customizations are there system ui tuner we have normal system ui tuner stuff you can change the display size of it and custom lcd density you can change it volume panel option is there smart pixel is there and we even have a lot of fonts over here as you can see we have the google sans and stuff if you need that by default it's set to roboto android so that's how it is and of course we have the pi gesture control over here and gesture anywhere feature is there you can add custom gestures and screenshot option is there we can disable the screenshot sound inside misc we have the wake up on plug and vibrate on usb plug disabling options three finger screenshot gesture are there blink flashlight on call option is there so a lot of lot of options in my opinion we have the audio panel and stuff volume dialog timeout inside navigation we have the navigation enabling option we can enable the navigation from here as you can see from here i have enabled it and it works fine you don't need to worry but i'm using this like the capacity buttons over here inside gestures you can enable the full screen gestures i guess from here and inside buttons you can disable the hardware keys yes you can disable the hardware keys and we have the like these button customization options and you can even have this long press for torch so that whenever the phone is locked if you hold the power button like for longer period of time it will just like pop up the torch and it will just toggle the torch like if you hold it again so that's pretty cool feature so that is all for the customizations now let's talk about cameras the stock cameras of course now the stock camera by default over here is the snapdragon camera as you can see pretty familiar with the asus users maybe but this camera is like really decent not too good if you're into like google camera and stuff i have to say this one does come with camera to api you don't need to worry so i have installed gc mod 5 so it is working super fine again and portrait mode and stuff does work too so you don't need to worry at all regarding portrait mode at all and if you want to install this gc mod 5 link in this card over here and let me tell you one more thing over here is that the google pay well if you ask is it working well it's actually not working by default it shows that your device is rooted and stuff so google pay can't be used on this device but if you want to really use it on your like resurrection remix rom you can just go into the settings and you can just go into the apps then see all apps now from here you can just find the google play services let me just do that so here it is google play services now from here go to permissions now from here disable this phone and sms app permission like forcefully just click on deny anyway then you can set up the google pay you don't need to worry at all regarding google pay if you are really into it you can really do it with the, like the method i just showed now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app run of speeds and stuff
So as you can see, it does do the Android Pie kind of animation by opening apps and it feels a little bit slow because I am using the Redmi Note 5 Pro as my daily driver. Like animations feels a little bit slower, but it's fine. It's not bad at all, considering this is a pretty old device. So as you can see, all the apps are in memory. So no issues regarding memory management at all over here. I have to say the ROM feels literally smooth. As you can see, it's buttery smooth almost. As long as you consider that this is the first build of this ROM, this is pretty fine. And one more quick thing about the like night mode and stuff. Let me show you. We have the night mode, but it's from the live display. As you can see, if you just choose it to night, it just like makes the display into yellow. So it works, but it's like you have to use the live display for it. Let me just go into the settings and show you some more stuff. In terms of the battery life, as you can see, I have like used the phone almost for one hour of screen on time, if you are noticing from here. And 73% battery left. So it's not like really good, but it's pretty usable considering this is an old phone again. And inside display settings, let me show you. You get the style and stuff. And from here, you can change the accent colors over here. You have a lot of accent colors like the dark green, pink, purple, blue, cyan, green, orange, yellow, red, lot of options. You can even have the dark mode and you can like change the dark mode to black, like totally black. And what else? We have the double tap to wake option, double tap to sleep option too. And you even have the font option over here if you wanna like use that like over here inside sounds. We have the also vibrate for call option of course. And this is how the other sound settings looks like. We have the touch vibration over here but you cannot control the intensity of the haptic feedback or the vibration all over the UI. And these buttons vibration are not too harsh, but a little bit on the harder side, I have to say. The Antutu benchmark, if you ask, I did test the Antutu and like earlier we used to get what, maybe around 85, 90,000 around like benchmark score of Antutu. But right now with this ROM, I got around 1,6800 almost like the Android score. So it's almost 1,7,000. I have like no complaints regarding this. So I have to say the performance have improved with updates and I have zero complaints regarding it. And as you can see the score 1,8,000 almost or 1,7,000 I guess. So this is fairly good, I, I have to say. And enjoy the Resurrection Remix ROM, links will be in the description box below. So that is pretty much it guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet down there. And hit the bell icon too if you are a new subscriber. This is Tiro from KDNDX signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.